Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel and to another video. For today's video I'm going to be bringing you guys through a little day in my life. Today is my first day of half marathon training. It all starts today. I am really excited and nervous but I feel like it's going to be so good and we're doing an easy start. So my run for today is just an easy run, which I love an easy run on a Monday, just starting off the week. Slow and steady. If we're doing an easy run, it's just gonna be a 7K and I'm gonna be doing around a six minute kilometer pace because it said to do it under 5.55. So we're gonna go around six, maybe 6.30, just depending on how we're feeling. I'm not gonna like push it too hard. I want to definitely just take it easy. My long run on Wednesday is gonna be a lot harder. So let's just take it slow for the first one. I'm gonna be documenting this whole training for my half experience throughout my vlogs and also on my Instagram. So definitely make sure to follow along on there as well. I'll be posting lots of like reels of my runs and like my timing and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna do a little bit of skincare right now. So I already applied the Tower 28 Daily Rescue Facial Spray. I apply this in the mornings. It's like a little reset for my skin after sleeping. I don't usually wash my face. And then I've been loving this serum, like this is holy grail. I will repurchase this when it runs out because it's my favorite vitamin C I've used in so long. I feel like it's really helping with post acne marks and it doesn't irritate my skin. It's great. So it's the Green Envy Glow C Plus Brightening Serum. So this has three types of vitamin C in it. It ends up having like 20% vitamin C. It also has ferulic acid. So it's just great for correcting any sort of discoloration and also for aging skin. It's great for that as well because it is an antioxidant. So I do two pumps. I highly recommend if you guys are looking for a new vitamin C because that's my favorite one I have found ever. And it has no pore clogger's which is ideal. Now for my moisturizer, I've been using the Tower 28 SOS Barrier Cream. I forgot how much I loved this. I feel like it just calms down my skin so much when it comes to irritation. Like I loved this a while ago when I was using it. I don't know why I went off of it because it's like such a good moisturizer. It's really hydrating, but it doesn't clog your pores at all. And it's great for calming down any sort of skin irritation, including acne. So my plan is to go for my run at nine. It's 8.15 right now. So I just have to let Millie out and then I'm gonna drink some like electrolyte or EAA water just to get some more hydration into me before my run because I hate being dehydrated on a run. So we're gonna drink that beforehand and then we'll head out. I'm gonna make my little beverageino now that I'm gonna drink before I go on my run. So I have water here. I'm gonna mix in some of this amino IVs. This is BCAAs, EAAs. It also has electrolytes in it as well. So it's great for dehydration. So I'm just gonna do one scoop of that. This will be the flavored one. It's strawberry lemonade flavored, which is so good. All these supplements, by the way, are from PE Science. You guys can use the code Chelsea for a discount if you're interested. Then I'm gonna put a little bit of creatine in it. Creatine's great for muscle recovery as well, especially when you're doing a bit of like more high intensity training. It just helps your muscles recover a bit faster. So a little scoop of that. And then this is new. I'm gonna try and incorporate collagen again for my skin, joint health, all that. So this one has 10 grams of collagen. Oh my God. It's always so bad at opening these little bags, but I'm gonna do a scoop of this as well. But I'm gonna do a scoop of that. And then we're gonna just shake it on up and drink that before we go for our run. And maybe wait like 10 minutes in case I have to pee because the worst thing ever is having to be on your run. I'm nervous but excited. Okay guys, it's time for the first run and this is my outfit. I feel like it's a bit chilly out today. I think it feels like negative two. I'm wearing a long suit underneath this. Then I'm wearing this North Face zip up running jacket. I love this. It's super warm. Keeps you really warm in your core area, which is great, but it's still super breathable. My headband is from Saucony. This keeps my ears so warm. It's like a fleece one. I have my headphones on underneath. Leggings are the Fast and Freeze from Lululemon. These are great, but I will tell you the wind goes through these. So if it was colder than it is today, I would not wear these because it would be so cold. But it's only like two degrees. I think it feels like negative one. So it's fine. I'm going to heat up a lot on the run. I also need to get more crew socks because my ankles get so cold. But I'm wearing just my um, Saucony Endorphin Speed 3s. These are my shoes that I'm training in for my half. I love them. And then I'm wearing Nike gloves. I have my Garmin watch on. 
This is the Venue 2S, which I really love. Hopefully gonna be trying out the Venue 3S soon, which I can't wait for. I'll be so excited to try that out. But Venue 2S, which is great for tracking my runs. I basically can import my Runa app training into my watch and I have access to my entire training plan on my watch while I'm going. It'll tell me what pace I'm supposed to do. It's just amazing. For my glasses, these are the Mars Quest glasses in just the black on black. They're great. It's not honestly that sunny out, but I just don't feel like squinting or crying from the wind because that happens to me sometimes. So I'm wearing them half for that as well. And you know, you just look super cool. So anyways, this is the fit. Let's go crush our 7K. I am back from my run. My head is super fuzzy. I am making myself another coffee and I made myself a second little breakfast situation. So I had crumpets this morning with peanut butter for like my pre-run meal. And then for my post-run meal, I'm having three pieces of chicken bacon, two eggs and two pieces of sourdough toast. My appetite post-run is always huge. And I love having another coffee post-run too. Probably not the best, but I did drink all my hydration drinks. It should be okay. I don't have a full coffee either. I have like a double shot or like a latte cappuccino kind of situation, which which I pretend is better even though it's not really. <laughs> that run felt really good. I have been having like some slight pain in my knees and ankles and I don't know if it's my shoes. I love my shoes and I love the way I feel running in them, but I feel like I am getting like a little bit of ankle pain and I don't know if it's my shoes because I do have flat feet. So I do have to be quite picky with what shoes I wear. So that's really frustrating if it is my shoes because other than the ankle pain, I absolutely love them and I want to like continue wearing them, but we will see. It's not like so bad. Like I'm not like in pain or like agony and I don't really feel any pain afterwards. So I don't know. We might just see how it goes. Really, really, really would rather not not wear those shoes because I love them. I literally love them. So we're trying to make it work. I'm gonna eat and drink this and then shower and get ready for the day because I have a bunch of errands and stuff I wanna do this afternoon. Okay guys, I have freshened up, showered, all that, and I'm about to head to go and get three pairs of pants altered. I've been putting this off for so long and I need to get them taken up because your girl is not very tall. So we're gonna go walk to a dry cleaner alterist place to do that. And then the way back, I'm gonna try and get a Valentine's Day card for Jay as well. So that's my little update. I have hair stuck in my camera. <laughs> there we go. And then when I get back, I need to do more admin stuff and eat lunch in a bit. I ate like a late breakfast, so I'm not super hungry right now. But yeah, let's go run some errands together. So for lunch this day, I decided to make a pasta salad. I am a pasta salad girly, okay? There is so easy to make. You can add in a ton of tuna for protein and it always turns out so good. So for this one, I just did one whole cucumber. I mixed in some of this like cabbage, broccoli, kale mix in there. And then I added in four whole cans of tuna and gave that a mix.
with the dressing, I just used this Summer Fresh Green Goddess dressing. It basically is like a mixture of a bunch of oils and vinegars and then avocado. It turned out so good. And honestly, I was just lazy and didn't want to make my own. So I bought one at the grocery store. And no regrets. from our little sunset walk, which was so nice. That was like the prettiest sunset I've seen in a very long time. So I was thoroughly enjoying that. And now it's dinner time. I'm making my go-to bowl, which is my like ground turkey, Asian inspired recipe. It's so good. You have it with like on rice with green beans and it hits every single time. So I just freshly grated some fresh ginger. I cut up a shallot, half minced garlic already. I'm just gonna cut up these green onions so that they're prepped. They're more of like a garnish, but you can cook it in the white part of the onions, which is really good. So I think I'm gonna do that. And then it'll be time to cook. We'll set the rice going. And yeah, I'm excited for dinner. I went and got those three pairs of pants altered earlier, which I'm really happy about. I'm gonna pick them up next week. And I feel like they're gonna be really good just to have them actually fitting because I love those track pants, especially the like the two pairs that I brought there. I love them, but they're just so long that I could not wear them because I step on them and it just looks ridiculous. So I can't wait to actually have them fitting properly. And yeah, anyways, let's cook dinner. And then we're gonna watch Deadpool 2, which I'm really excited about. Oh! My eyes watering just from leaning over that onion. That's ridiculous. <laughs> starting my Duolingo lesson. I started doing Duolingo and I'm learning Irish because of Jay. Jason can speak. How much can you speak Irish, would you say? Are you fluent? Fluent enough, yeah. Fluent enough. So I thought, why wouldn't I learn it too? So I've been learning that. I'm on section one, unit one, and I'm on my third lesson. 
And basically right now I'm learning about how to order at a cafe, kind of. And basically like simple phrases like hello and goodbye. So it's like diadit is hello and slan is goodbye. So I'm learning and I can order, I could say coffee please now, which would be like cafe le de hole, coffee, cafe le de hole, which is coffee please. And you can also say thank you is go rev, go rev ma agit. Go rev ma agit. <laughs> so I'm learning. Yeah, it's funny fact, I didn't even know that Ireland had its own language. So clearly I am uneducated, but Jay educated me on that and now I'm learning it. So you know what, Monday I might be fluent, which would be really cool. I'm gonna do my little lesson because I have to make sure I do it every day. And it's a lot of repetition, but that's how you learn. So we're gonna do that. Berla. 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 I don't know what that means. Babe, I'm learning new words. What? I'm learning new words. What word? Berla. What? Berla. That means English. 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 <laughs> I was gonna guess it meant often, so I was really wrong. Oh, Berla. Berla. Berla, yeah. English. Woo! Oh, Berla. I cheated. How'd you cheat? You told me the answer. Babe, I'm learning new words. Yeah. Laureen Sean. What the? What I say? Laureen Sean. What? Laureen Sean. L a b h r a i with a thing on it. O n n. What are the options? Every, Irish or day speaks Sean. What? Laureen Sean Boyle. Sean. 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 Oh, wait. Why do you speak? Sean. Sean is like a name. Laureen. Sean. Laureen. Laureen. Laureen Sean Guelga, which means Sean speaks Irish. Laureen Sean Guelga. Laureen. Laureen Sean Guelga. Laureen Sean Guelga. Laureen Sean. Laureen Sean. Sean speaks. Laureen Sean Guelga. Laureen Sean Guelga. Laureen He speaks English. Woo! Laureen Se Berla. Laureen Se Berla. Laureen Se Berla. 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 No, I'm just saying sorry. I'll say it like that. Put your phone away so people don't know you're not uh, cheating. cheating on it. Get more, but I have to finish my lesson. There you go. Right. Hello. Yeah, Coffee. Cafe. And tea. I guess tea. And water. I guess iska. And milk. I guess banya. And sugar. I guess sugar. And salad. I guess salad. <laughs> Please. Little help. And thank you. I guess gourmet. Goodbye. It's done. Cheese! <laughs> <laughs>